go! Hey there, Internet. Welcome back to Coaching Carousel for Dummies by a Dummy. Thanks for tuning in. This week, New Mexico State and Louisiana Tech. And look, my guy with no interest. I got him across the finish line. Now we are going to be lining up against New Mexico State. They are also 7-3. and three. This is effectively going to decide the WAC championship. And notice that Herbie is given the nod to the Aggies, not to the Vandals. Notice also that it is raining cats and dogs in New Mexico. I've been in New Mexico. It never rained there. Well, first drive, we're getting it done. We like the rain, remember? Every rainy game we've had great, well, mostly great games. We've won anyway. And we're certainly starting off on the right foot. Touchdown with Riley around the left there. It's up seven to nothing. And look at Jones getting it done. Deep strike back of the end zone. Touchdown! We are up 14-0 against the mighty New Mexico State Aggies on the road. Check that guy for a concussion. That looks a little rough. New Mexico State coach not happy. This is our time. Get it done. Come on, you knuckleheads. And look at this. Going for it on fourth down and getting it done. Darn them. First down. First and goal. And, of course, the next play. He throws the wounded duck, and it gets in. Bulls is way in the end zone for a touchdown. 14-7. This is a ball game. And we're trying to answer going deep, and uh, the receiver quits on his route. Not the best throw. Intercepted. Darn it. We are not having our way here in the second quarter, except defensively. The defensive line is managing to get some good pressure. We can't score, but they can't score. 14-7 score goes into the half, and we get the ball to start the third quarter. So dropping back, throws a deep strike to Riley. This has been a money play all year. Riley and Dahl are the two best players on the roster by far. Gets a nice deep shot to Dahl, or to Riley rather, who beats his man, sets us up in the red zone. Yeah, buddy. Who's your Aggie? And Dahl, of course, the workhorse, finishing it off with great blocking, walks into the end zone. Just like that, 21-7. Aggie's not looking so good. Next drive, another strike. Catches the receiver wide open. Touchdown on the post. We are now up 28-7. to Heading into the fourth quarter, it looks like the WAC championship is ours for the taking. A little bit of a tight first half, but we are getting it done in the second half. And here we go. New Mexico is going to answer. They're getting into the end zone. It's going to be a two-score game. Still plenty of time, but wait. There's a flag. Holding. Offense. Okay. Now it's first and 20. So what happens? They get sacked. Defense getting it done. Second down. Deep strike. Back of the end zone. Receiver cannot make a play. Little defensive action there. Third and 27. What coverage sack. Boom! Nothing. And they go for it on fourth in a mile and are sacked at midfield. A drive that should have ended in the end zone and seven points for the Aggies instead hands us the ball in the fourth quarter at midfield. Huge defensive game. We, we respond, throwing it up deep. Receiver makes a great play, sets us up in the red zone. Here we go again. A little bit of a draw action. Dahl right through the middle of the defense. The Aggies are just getting exhausted. It's not happening. Riley taking it into the end zone. Touchdown. New Mexico does answer kind of late, but it's just too little too late. 38-14 final score. Idaho Vandals over the New Mexico State Aggies. The whack is ours. So can this translate into some recruiting gold for me? I do have some issues with recruiting, no, nothing too drastic, but I'm hovering around 100. I want to make sure that I get a top 100 recruiting class because that is part of my goal for my contract. It's a, it's a lesser goal, but I need to meet it. My bigger concern potentially, especially if I stay at Idaho, is that Texas, my pipeline state, is in some danger. Most of the people I have unfortunately not been able to lasso have come from Texas. So here I am scraping the bottom of the one-star barrel just to see here. There's some kids out there with a little bit of interest that I can drag in here this late in the year and get them up to Moscow to play football for me so that I don't lose my pipeline state. I really don't necessarily want these guys 
but like I said, I need those recruits. It's probably worth it. As you well know, if you've looked, four and five star recruits aplenty in Texas. So it's probably worth bringing on some scab just to keep that pipeline going. So here we are down to the wire. Just a few guys left that we're trying to nurse. Some guys that are a little soft, a little tight, are going to have to throw maximum effort. But the good thing at this stage is you usually are able to throw maximum effort. Um, you know, if you haven't tossed out a scholarship by now, toss it out. And as you can see, somebody who's even a couple hundred points behind, we can draw neck and neck and make this a very tight race. Hopefully steal them away from Washington State. Final game of the season, Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and the Idaho Vandals. Idaho making the trip to Louisiana. Considerably better weather. Dahl going up the middle, or going off the right side. First down and breaks the school rushing record. By all those offensive linemen, well, McDonald's, I guess, you're a college, you're a college student on a program. I can't take it for, for the stake dinner. Play action, little in route. Getting it done on the passing game. We're marching up field on the first drive. This is the way we like it, but then our superstar, Dahl, gets hurt. Actually ends up leaving the game for, for a decent portion. So we end up settling for a field goal. Not the way we'd like it. We'd like to get something more. And look at this. Cut, breaks away from the coverage. One-handed pull down interception. Not a good situation. Louisiana Tech scores. Like You're trying to, to go deep, court? and it He's works again. The money pressure. play with Riley. Again, top. Riley and Dahl by far the best players. And a draw play to the third string running back since Dahl is out. Pulls his way in with great blocking touchdown. Louisiana Tech's hurry-up offense is getting it done. They're down in the red zone. Some kind of weird wildcat thing. Tries a pass. Intercepted. Crazy throw. Intercepted and runs it back to the 35-yard line. Keeps the Bulldogs out of the end zone. We're trying to answer with a deep throw. Receiver just, uh, what did he do? Just quit on the route? Or was that a bad throw? A uh, little bit of both, I guess. Intercepted. But at least we flipped the field. We kept the Bulldogs from scoring. But meanwhile, young man, that's your second interception. You need to get your electrons in a row. We can't be throwing any more interceptions. We're, we're, we need to win this game. We're on the road, son. Try a long field goal at the end of the half. There's only a second or two left on the clock, right? No harm, Oh, except I forget just how bad my kicker is. Why did I forget? That ball was 10 yards short, easy, and they run the field goal back for a touchdown. So now I am not only not up 13-7 going in the half, I am now down 14-10 on the road, despite playing a pretty good defensive game. Not making me happy. Starting out in the third quarter on the wrong foot. Another interception. My big fat tight end just sits there like a bump on a log and lets himself get intercepted. Luckily, my defensive line is getting it done. Manages to force a fumble. Bulldogs cough it up. Coach is furious. They should be waxing our hides, and they're not, thanks to my defense. And look, the fullback getting it done on third and one. Great blocking, up the middle, touchdown. 17-14 Idaho Vandals. We are finally back in control. But man, this is a tight game. Going into the fourth quarter, that's where the score is. 17-14. Need to hang on to the ball, close the season out strong. Stay with me, defense. <laughs> Stay with me, offensive line. So, game track, as you can see, both defensive lines actually having very good games, getting a lot of pressure on the quarterbacks, uh, getting sacks, getting interceptions. It's been a defensive struggle, which is not what we're used to. We're used to rolling over folks by this point in the game. And the Bulldogs have no quit in them. They do not even have a winning record. They are not bowl eligible. But they have been one of the toughest opponents all season. So coming out of the fourth quarter, as you could hear there, Herbie saying pretty much what I'm thinking. I just need to string a few plays together. I need to get something done. Come on, guys. Dig deep. And Dahl getting it done. We don't have a lot of these plays, but we're getting enough of them. We're moving the ball upfield, as you can see there. First down, able to run out the clock. Very ugly victory. Very tough fight in the trenches. But the linemen are happy. We're getting it done. Not the prettiest win we've had all year. But a win is a win is a win, especially when it's in conference. Final score, Idaho Vandals 17, 
Louisiana Tech Bulldogs 14. Dahl, as you can see, their player of the game and most deservedly so. Over 2,500 yards in the season. Uh, or I'm sorry, over 1,500 yards in the season. Break, broke the school rushing record. Great job, young man. And on the offensive and defensive lines. Get another two-star recruit across the finish line. A one-star from Nevada. Nevada was another issue with uh, Pipeline, but I did already actually close that out. And the WAC trophy is ours. We are the best team in a very bad conference. Uh, hopefully that translates into something for me in the offseason <laughs> when the coaching carousel begins to spin. Well, anyway, let's see where things are shaking out in recruiting. We are definitely down to the wire in the recruiting situation. Uh, it's where we're pouring on the maximum effort of the few guys we're trying to get across the finish line. Lucky thing is, since there aren't too many people left to worry about, get, especially after we get, we get rid of some of the dead weight there, we can focus a lot of points on those last few recruits. As I stated earlier, definitely need somebody from Texas to commit to keep my pipeline state going. Uh, it looks like I am just above 100 still in the recruiting class. It seems like I should be a little higher, but I do have some guys waiting in the wings. And as you'll recall, I did waste a lot of uh, effort earlier trying to get some four- and three-star guys, which didn't entirely pan out. The only thing stranger is seeing Virginia Tech below 100. I'm not sure what the, all that's about. Maybe that, that'll be the uh, next coach to sit on the hot seat when the coaching carousel starts to spin. I'm in good shape, meanwhile. The rest of those goals should click right in once we get finished with the bowl game. Uh, it looks like Oklahoma and Florida State will probably play for the national title. Big Ten nowhere to be found in the uh, one and two. Uh, although I did see Penn State there at four. Uh, we are, as you notice, the conference champions holding the WAC trophy at the end of the year and the last year of the WAC. I am definitely dissolving this conference after this year, these teams will go find new homes somewhere else, probably most of them in the Mountain West, I think. So the bowl game, uh, last week or two, it's been looking like the Humanitarian Bowl. And after our victory over Louisiana Tech, it's looking like the Humanitarian Bowl. So I think that is the matchup we're going to be looking at. Anyhow, thanks very much for watching. I do very much appreciate it, and see you next time.